often I have to take a step back and say, oh yeah, that is quite unusual, I can do that. Most people don't climb without hands and feet. Myself and my very good friend Jamie Fisher went to climb a mountain in the French Alps. We were caught out by a vicious, unforecast storm. We ended up being trapped for five days and five nights. Ultimately, there's only so much the human body can take. Jamie Fisher became unconscious and just stopped moving altogether. The helicopter finally managed to get in. I was very severely frostbitten. My hands and feet were literally frozen. I remember waking up and looking down my hospital bed and seeing that my hands and feet were gone forever and thinking, could I ever lead any kind of meaningful existence? Okay, so how am I going to do this? You start thinking about it and maybe you think it is impossible. Eventually you find that there is a solution. The challenge is really 95% mental. The hardest challenge is constantly coaching myself to believe whatever it is I'm doing is possible. I've not done a climb quite this difficult for a wee while. I don't know what Ben Arne will be like. I've not done it since the accident. Perhaps the hardest bit of the day is getting my rock shoes on. Figure it out? Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to just tie it for me? Yeah, yeah. It's just easier and quicker and therefore safer for everyone just to get it done by someone else. But when it comes to the climbing itself, I'm kind of on my own. Okay, let's do it. What we're going to go for here is just a little bit of brute force and ignorance. Now I've got to find a way of standing up. Tricky move with this one. I have to use every muscle in my body. It's easy enough to cling on with your fingers if you're strong and trained, but if you don't have fingers, you've got to use a lot more tricks. It's all right, it's quite puzzling. All the rock is just, uh, it never gives its secrets away easily. Wedging my arms behind pieces of rock or jamming them into cracks or sticking them into holes. Whatever it takes is to cling on and climb upwards. thoughts revolve around my friend Jamie, how he hadn't survived. I felt that I owed it to him to make the most of this second chance that I'd been given and have that responsibility to him to really make the most of what I do have rather than worrying about what I don't have. Yeah, nice. Hard last move. That was a good move, I've never seen that move, flying heel hook. <laughs> <laughs> I think last time I climbed it, I probably just soloed up it with no ropes and didn't even notice it. So. It was a lot, lot harder than when I did it with hands and feet. That's all part of the challenge. It is physically tough. You know, I'm covered in scratches and grazes already on my arms. Climbing is what made me the person I am. So it's worth a few scratches and bruises. It's just about trying as hard as I can, pushing limits, but accepting also that I can't do everything, that it's not all possible. But if you at least start out believing that what you're trying could be possible, then there's every chance that you will have success. I was on Operic 13 out in Afghanistan. My vehicle triggered an IED, which sent me 40 foot up in the air, down to earth with a thud. I was going down to surgery. I even had time to update my Facebook status, saying I'm just going down to theatre to have my feet lopped off. See you in a couple of hours. 